Hey guys! Thanks for tuning in. I'm Raquel. I'm Jake. And this is Don't, Don't You, you know. know. Don't You Know. <laughs> Jacob, uh, you're very hyped today, huh? <laughs> I'm just feeling good. Both had busy weekends, I think. Today was actually my day I was able to actually relax because I was I didn't work today. So, let's see. I guess we could do some quick updates with the podcast. Not too much updates going on. California has taken over Georgia in downloads, sucker. whoop de woo Here's me doing jazz hands with a face that says, if you look up the unamused emoji when you're searching your little emotes thing, if you search unamused, that's the face I have. <laughs> actually, it's neutral face. Unamused looks like he's actually, like, frustrated. I couldn't care less. <laughs> <laughs> Until Georgia pushes forward, in which case, in your face. <laughs> <laughs> No, congratulations. Thanks for listening, Californians. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's funny is, like, both the Braves and the Dodgers lost in the first round in playoffs of the World Series. They lost against each other? No. no I'm just kidding. I know what you mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> they need to play each other to be to have fun. Yeah. Well, we always play. We tend to always play against the Braves, and we always knock the Braves out. Sucka. You can't tend to always, sucka. <laughs> we didn't lose as bad as the Braves did, though. In their final match, it was the first inning the other team scored 10 runs in the very first inning. Well, it's like my fifth grade coach always said, you're not losing because you're bad. You're losing because you're really bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you don't practice. No, he didn't say that. He did, He just said, better luck next time or something. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it for podcast-wise. Other than, Do you want to do our... Uh, our special extra right now? Uh, yeah. Okay, then. So, what we're going to do is truth or scare. Ooh. Which is basically truth or dare. And I took a lot of suggestions from one website that I will include the link down below. So, you can check that out and get all of them if you want. I specifically picked dares that audio interesting as well. I had to pick certain dares. Also... I had to pick dares that we could do in front of a computer. So, but the whole list and all that stuff, I'll put in the link. And so basically, yeah, we're going to be doing truth or dare or truth or scare. This could be the end of a podcast, the end of a friendship, the end of a career. No. <laughs> so, uh, well, I like these are. For, I'm looking at you. This is like a what? PG-13 truth or dare question, so don't worry, Jacob. It'll be okay. All right, thanks. <laughs> so, All right, what do we got? Since I described what we're going to be doing, you get to go first. So truth or scare. Perfect. Sounds good. I'll take a, I'll take a, I'll start, I'll start as easy. I'll take a truth. Okay, truth. What three items would you take with you? If you had to spend the night in a haunted house. Well, a flashlight for one. <laughs> no, <laughs> my cell phone, because it has a flashlight. Well, you better bring a charger too, right? <laughs> no, I would, just, I would just not use much battery. Oh, you got to spend the night, right? Probably a sleeping bag so that I'm not cold. <laughs> <laughs> and some yeah, salt to make it cold. Ring. Just in case I put a salt ring. No, I don't know. It, it was, this is a haunted house? Yeah, um, this is a haunted house. So it'll be cold, so you will need that sleeping bag. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I don't want the haunted spiders to get into my feet. Oh. I don't know. Why am I there? <laughs> you just need What's one more item. Of... <laughs> I know, but this is... Now, now I've only got one. When I had two. You're just spending the night. So cell phone I and sleeping bag. Oh, no. Cell phone, sleeping bag, and a friend. You. <laughs> Are you going to bring me? So that they can oh, okay. eat you while I sleep. I sleep That's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. Yeah, I'll see you there. I don't quite believe. I don't necessarily don't believe in ghosts. I don't necessarily do believe in ghosts. So. <laughs> but I don't go camping out in haunted houses. <laughs> we talked about this before, too. <laughs> we okay. did, and I stand by it. I still stand by it, too. I'm not saying I don't believe in it, but I'm saying I haven't experienced it. Therefore, I don't necessarily say I do believe in it. Okay, so. Um, I think a Bible or a vial of holy water would be pretty good, too. There you go. Yeah, for the third item. 
Usually, though, supposedly demons haunt people, not places, so I don't know if holy water would do you much good. Well, okay. I could drink it then. <laughs> I get thirsty. Okay, then. I want to... See, I actually know what the, the truths and dares are, and I'm still like, the dares aren't that bad, but I think I want to go with the truth <laughs> as well. You're <laughs> cheating. You're cheating. I'm going to pick some stuff for you. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay, I'll go with truth, too. I'll match your truth. Okay. Okay, would you lay down in a coffin for three minutes? Hmm. I guess it would depend on where the coffin's at. <laughs> I think I wouldn't have a problem with laying in the coffin for three minutes. It wouldn't be that big a deal. But if it was, like, over an open grave, then I think I would be afraid. <laughs> I wouldn't lay in a coffin for three minutes. Here's, I'm going to up the ante. Let's say it's not in a grave. It's just, like, on a table somewhere. But you have to sleep in it for three minutes with the door closed. So you're just like that, and it's just like right in front of your face. Well, one problem would be, uh, I don't think I could fall asleep within three minutes. But... Not sleep, I just think you have to lie down. Uh, not yeah, sleep, not I sleep. I'm not claustrophobic, really. So I get claustrophobic when t there's like tons of people around me and I'm squished. But like small places don't make me claustrophobic. So I think I could do it, especially if I wasn't over in a grave. I was just on a table. Now, if I felt that you're thing moving, that. I would be that would be different. <laughs> You, you wouldn't be afraid of, like, hearing something really heavy slam on top, and then you start hearing a little nail gun, toom, 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 going around the edge. Well, see, you didn't add all of that. You just said, would you be okay gotcha. to be on the table? I'm like, <laughs> gotcha. I'm not thinking about any of that stuff. I'm just thinking, okay, I'll go ahead and do it. Well, People are just scared of, like, small spaces. I got this. That's how they get you. That's how you get me, apparently. Ooh. You're going to nail me into a coffin. <laughs> Bury me alive, probably. <laughs> All right. Okay. What you got? Truth or scare? I'll take a scare. Okay. Laugh like an evil witch at whatever people say for the next... Well, it says five minutes. Let's not do that. Um. So, yeah. After... Every time someone says, like, finishes this, like, finishes this, like, their kind of, like, general statement or whatever, you have to laugh like an evil witch. Let's just do it for, like, the next, like, minute. Do you have a timer? I do not have a timer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me start your timer real quick, then. I had to pull out my You don't have to do it, too. I don't. <laughs> I was just laughing. <laughs> this is the best there ever. You didn't laugh. <laughs> I have to laugh after what I say. <laughs> okay, it's kind of annoying. Can we just count it done? Okay. <laughs> I don't have any just, variation. Just because I... Sure pony. <laughs> just because I wasn't able to start the timer, so we'll just say you're done. One more laugh, though. <laughs> My neighbors are just like, oh, his mother must be visiting. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> so bad. Okay, I guess I'll do I a don't scare know what my as well. Sounds like. Okay, I'll do a scare. Do scare as well. Yep, I'm gonna match your scare. <laughs> it's gotta be just grating to the oh, ears. Act as if someone pressed the rewind button on tonight. So we're just gonna do the the podcast and act it out in rewind. So, hmm. I don't know. I think you mean us. Mwah. Yeah. I don't know how to act it out. <laughs> I yeah. have to reverse that. <laughs> Let me just do another one. I don't know why I picked that. I thought I, I decided not to do that one. Okay. Try to lick your elbow. Skip. That's your only skip. Okay. That's my only skip. I don't know how to do that one. My, now, uh, try to lick your elbow. You could just edit it. You could be clever and just edit it. Uh, nice. Can can't. you lick your elbow in reverse, though? Uh, I don't know. I can't do that in <laughs> You have to spit it out, I guess. Well, I'm really not flexible at all. For I everybody just listen. listening to the podcast, she's she's not even close. I'm not, she's not really. even close. She's definitely not a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> she can't even lick the inside of her elbow. <laughs> I got that part. Okay. Nice. Good job. Truth is here, Jacob. <laughs> I'll take an another truth. Another truth? Because I like the debate. Okay. Are there any horror movies you refuse to watch because they scare you too much? So, yes, but indirectly. So, my mother is very scared of... She... Not very scared of. She says that she saw The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Is that the title? At too young of an age. And it mm -hmm. freaked her out. And I've never seen it. I've just never watched it. But I remember at one point, we were at a garage sale. And there was a book that says The Exorcism of Emily Rose. And... It was like, I don't know if it's based on the movie or if it came first. I don't really know much about it. But she got it, and she was like, and she told me, she was like, yeah, this really scared me as a kid. I'm going to read the book. I was like, okay, yeah, sure. 
And I asked her later, I was like, how was it? She was like, it was just as terrifying. And she's like, I don't really ever want you to watch that movie. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I just, I don't really want to watch it because I, I don't know. I, it's probably, it's probably not even that scary. I play the game. So I've beat <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I don't know. I, I kind of know. You all this time this now. Yeah, I yeah, know. You didn't talk about her laugh. You talk about how scared she is. <laughs> she's not like actively scared of it. It's just like. I think it's just a really spooky movie, and you know, we're uh, my family's religious, so yeah, there's um definite spookums to the demon stuff. But yeah, so am I too scared to watch it? Yes and no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it does just say refuse to watch? Oh well, no, it does say yeah, because I'll they're pass. too scared to much watch it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do it. Scare. Seeing I'm a little teapot with all the hand motions. Okay. That's your scare. All right, let's hear it. What is it? I want to hear that. I gotta try to think of... Oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for you guys because I can't sing. This is going to be great. I'm all of a sudden really into this. (laughs) I'm trying to think of what the hand motions are for I'm a little teapot, though. It's literally in the words. I'm a little teapot, short... No, what is the hand motions for it? started at a very high note. (laughs) It's only to go higher. (laughs) I'm a little teapot. What is it? Teapot. All right, you got it. Short. No, what's the hand motion for short? Does it go like that? I don't know. Oh, I'm just going to make up some hand motions there. Yeah. I'm a little teapot, short and stuff. Here is my hand. (laughs) Here is my (laughs) spout. Nice. What is it? When I get... What's that next part? When I get hot. I never know this part yet. You hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. (laughs) Ha ha! Nice. Very All right, and the other two verses. The other two versions? It doesn't have two <laughs> versions, and I hope not. I don't know them. I'm just joking. There probably are. It's like the uh, <laughs> Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> well done. Bravo. Okay. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do um, two more like, each. You're beating your chest like a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll both do uh, two more. So, okay, truth or scare? Good. I'll do a scare. Okay. I'm going to sing. For one minute... Switch between acting like a werewolf and then acting like a human. Oh, is that a? <laughs> That's like, oh, I, I kind of like this shirt. I was gonna go for it, but you really go le- you legit go for it. <laughs> okay, I mean, like this will beep when you're done. So you have the to. Full moon is like out in the prime right now. Not right now, but like this week. <laughs> okay. So I'll you know, go like, ahead and do my truth, <laughs> and this will beep once you're done with your thing. I'm gonna, ch- well, I'm gonna do truth by the way. So, what is your least favorite part of Halloween? Hmm. Let's see. My least favorite part of Halloween would be. Hmm. I don't really have a least favorite. Uh, that you don't get off of work or school for it. I think that's my least favorite. You have to still go to school and work. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're done with your uh, werewolf, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to just do it so loud through the house, but <laughs> neighbors. One of the things I saw. If I lived story. in the sticks, this would be a whole different podcast. <laughs> yeah. One of the um, one of the scares that they had on the list was to go outside and howl at the moon or sun, but couldn't really do that. Well, we probably could do for yours if we opened up your window. We could probably see you outside howling like the moon. Nah. Hey. There's two massive oak trees out that window. Oh, okay. Can't yeah. see nothing. Okay. Truth or scare, Jacob? I just did one. I just oh, did one, too. Oh, do another. Oh, right. Your last one. Uh, I'll do another. Ooh. Oh, no, it's too much work. Let's do a truth. Okay. It's too much work to howl at the moon. And to... <laughs> Will's laziest werewolf. He turns into a wolf, and he's just, like, goes and naps by the fire like a dog. Um, have you ever been so scared you peed your pants? No. Easy no. I've been really scared, and I've been so nervous that I've had to pee, but I just peed because it didn't, like, happen, but <laughs> I knew I had to pee. But no, I've never had it, that as a fright response. <laughs> okay. That's all well, I got. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to do one more scare, but then I think we should do one where we pick each other's. Okay. So, no, I'll do one more truth, and then we both pick a scare for okay. us to do. Okay. Sound fun? Okay. Sure. Let me do a truth then. I'm uh, thinking hard about... It's, it's got to be something that, that something I could do with audio and in front of the thing. 
Yeah. And yeah. Halloween ish ish. I was gonna make you sing something, but then you got that as as a as a scare. Okay. Oh, this one's kind of lame. My truth I got was: Would you rather get bit by a vampire or a zombie, and why? Well, actually, I guess that's not lame. I thought I when I started to read it, I thought it was gonna say a werewolf. I was gonna be like uh, a werewolf, duck. So like wolves, but it was a vampire or a zombie? Um, uh, hmm. This is also duh. I don't know about that. I think I'm, I'm thinking what? vampire. Yeah, duh. Okay, cool. You get well, to live even... forever, and that's the problem. I don't want to live forever. Not all of them. So you want to. Get mauled to death by a rotten zombie? Those things smell. I know. The last moments like, of your like, life is going to be smelling rotten flesh and getting bit in the neck. <laughs> it's gross. Yeah. I think it's I would gross. pick just because zombie ones, then you like kind of, you know, not really you anymore. You kind of like, remember we, we talked about yeah. how you don't have like that higher level thinking anymore. <laughs> So, I yeah, but what if you're be- still alive and you're just like aware? It's just like I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> the only problem oh, I have that's... with vampires is like I just don't want to live forever. It's just too long. Yeah. Well, you just get a wooden stake. <laughs> I'm done. 100 years. <laughs> All right. Let's take my scare. Okay. I'm looking for a good one because I'm still be. going to use my list. I already got one for you. Oh, no. Okay. Call someone on the phone. Just tell them a Halloween joke or story, and then that's it. Just do only do that, and then hang up. That's it. You just call them, tell them the joke or scary story, and hang up, and that's it. Okay, I can do that. I'm gonna try it. I gotta think of a scary story or a joke, because <coughs> jokes can be quick too. Scary or stories joke. tend to take a, tend to take a little bit to do, so a joke would be kind of quick. Yeah. And you gotta tell us who you're gonna do it to. Call. Or are you gonna do it later? I'm already doing it. Oh, I think it's just recording me. Oh, no. I've made a mistake. What? What did you do? I just left a voice recording. I wanted to call. There we go. Put her on speaker. There you go. I'll keep quiet. I'll leave a voice recording. A skeleton walks into a bar. He says, I want a beer and a mop. (laughs) I like that. Joke. That's funny. <laughs> He's had a hard day. Aww. Just let the man drink. I'll clean it up. <laughs> we'll have to on our next video, our next week's video. You have to tell us how that turned out because they didn't answer. <laughs> okay. Did you want to hear what mine was? The other one that I was thinking about doing, but I decided not to. Sure. The other one was for the whole entire podcast. Anytime someone says the word Halloween, you have to say it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Anytime someone say Halloween. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, are you ready for yours? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I had to act like a werewolf. I want you to put a blanket over your head and act like the spookiest ghost that you can. Or a pillowcase, or just something. Okay, I could do my job. sure it would work. Maybe the big spooky blue, ge- oh, big spooky green ghost. It's gonna mess up the audio. I know it is, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Very funny. Alright. Ooh. Ghosts don't have hands. <laughs> Ooh, I don't. Ooh, and man, this is gonna mess up the audio so bad because I'm up against my mic. Ooh, wow. We're channeling from the other world. Ooh. What made you angry? Jacob's jokes. <laughs> oh. How could we get remorse? Oh. Well, it just wanted to. It just wanted to hit and run. <laughs> It did, that's all I wanted was to get that off its chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was messing up. I felt like it was just gonna mess up the audio too much because it's up against the mic. Sorry. You know, if anyone here is listening and they don't like my jokes, well, boo hoo. <laughs> okay. Because uh, it's a ghost. It goes uh-huh. to boo. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have done our little extra thing, should we talk about what's going on in our lives? Yeah, sure. Um, Because we both had really busy weekends, and it sounds like we both have a lot to talk about. I did for sure. I went to, I floated down a river, um, (laughs) right here in town, um, on a tube with some friends, and I did a rope swing, and I swam a lot, I jumped off some rocks, and I swam to the bottom, and I found some sunglasses that we dropped because I had my goggles on. I felt like a scuba diver and a treasure hunter. 
I didn't expect to actually find them. And I was like, oh, there they are. I felt like a hero. Uh, it was fun. So, Mr. Merman went and hung <laughs> out on the water, huh? <laughs> yeah, I did, actually. I forgot all about that. I was talking to, uh, I was talking to Tiana about that. And she, uh, really likes Merman. And, uh, she was like, oh. yeah. So, it's pretty she's good. like, oh, yeah. Pick the right guy. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, anyway, enough for her. <laughs> there was these other guys back to this rope swing for a minute. Oh, we're gonna so, talk about guys. <laughs> not only was I the first one on, because, <laughs> but then me and the companion that was with us, the two of us did the rope swing, and then some two other guys from a different group also decided to do it. We went, we swing, swang, swang, we swang, we swung all the way to the top, and like at the top, let go and dropped. And we both did it. We got good air, and we we fell. It, we must have been like fifteen feet above the water following or whatever the two guys behind us they went and like swung and instead of going up they just kind of went down and forward and i was like that was weak sauce they both did it <laughs> <laughs> so don't you know if you're gonna do a rope swing go for it although i will say i was gonna do a backflip and i did not go for it i just did a normal a normal rope swing thing but i still did it it was good fun and uh go float down a river come on summer's almost over and I got a little longer. Go out in the ocean. Go see some nature. It's really good. It's good for your heart. It's good for your soul. It's good for your brain. And don't litter behind you. There you go. All right. Enough, enough said. Is that all you did? I thought you did something else too. Or no? Did I? I, I, I thought you did something else. I guess not. I'm just... La la la. La la I la. Like, did I? I don't know. I fed my snake. Ew. Yeah, no. I dropped a... So I've tried to feed him three... Feed her. I keep misgendering my snake. I try to feed her some, you know, thought out frozen rodents, and she didn't want the first one. She struck at the first one, but then didn't eat it. This third one, she ate it, and she's all fat and happy in her little hide there now, and I'm a proud mm. parent. And <laughs> I've read, well, not I've read, Um, my mom's ex-boyfriend had a snake, and he had to give her live mice because she wouldn't eat the frozen one. Oh yeah. Well, the um, the breeder that I bought her from, um, they've been feeding her frozen thawed her whole life, so she's not aver- she's not averse to it. I just had to learn how to heat it right. <laughs> well, I had an awesome weekend. Let's hear about your awesome weekend. So on Saturday, I went to the Los Angeles Comic Con nice. with my cousin. Mm-hmm. We spent like we got there probably about eight thirty nine. Um, the doors didn't open up until like 10, 1030. So we waited in just giant like mob of people. Then we split our way. She went to Hot Topic and I went to go get autograph. We waited another, I think by the time we were done with all that stuff, it was like 1130-ish, almost 12. So we've been standing in lines from like <laughs> 9 to 12. <laughs> so wow. for three hours. And so. Yeah, it's a lot of lines standing. So we got our big things done. So then we sat down and at the convention center, they had like this little bar area. So we bought some tacos, not at the bar. We bought them like there's like a little, it was like a little bit kind of like um the cafeteria section and it had like a couple little vendors inside the cafeteria. So we bought like some tacos from there and we sat down, we had a cocktail and we had, ate some tacos while we were hanging out with some cup, um some friends, Nice, which was great. It was awesome. Cocktails and tacos, taco tails. Yeah. <laughs> And then we went inside and we got bought a whole bunch of stuff, spent so much money. <laughs> uh saw a lot of cool things. Had my uh I went me and my cousin decided to do a tarot card reading. Mine was uh pretty pretty cool wise. Um I have apparently next year's gonna be a really good year and that's awesome. Gonna have uh go on a trip overseas, which I've already planning on that, so that's awesome. Very cool. And Jacob's coming with me, so that's yes. great too. Then another, let's see what else is going to be moving, which is also in the plan. So I was going to do. So that was great to hear that I'm going to be doing that because it's like also because <laughs> finding a place here in California is like, especially one that you can afford and that lets you have dogs and stuff like that is really hard. <laughs> right. So to hear that, yeah, that's going to definitely be happening soon. It's like awesome. That's great. <laughs> it was like at this point, it feels like it was never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, lots of interesting stuff. Apparently, I'm a planner, which I already knew that. Jacob, shoot, even Jacob knows that. <laughs> yeah, she is definitely a planner. That was fun. We went to an after party, which was awesome, except for they had like a band 
And kind of what me and my cousin went was for like an after party, like DJ and dancing, not a band. So when we first got there, the band was playing and they were playing good music. It just wasn't like music that was like club dancing type music, like wasn't what we were expecting, wasn't really what we wanted. But then they brought out a DJ. So oh, we were nice. like, Ooh, and we had fun. But then they brought out the band again. And by that point, we had decided to leave because I was like basically falling asleep. Like <laughs> My cousin's feet were hurting because we had been standing pretty much all day. Then we get there and stand for more. We weren't really drinking because the drinks were too ex- were kind of expensive. And when I got a drink, it was like super watery. Like I got a screwdriver and it was like like almost just orange juice. I was like, screw that. I'm wow. not going to pay another like wow. 13 bucks for orange juice. You got to chat up the bartenders. Be like, hey, I want a, uh, want a screwdriver, extra screw. <laughs> So, uh, it was, yeah, it was whatever, because I had already taken a lot of shots before I went there, because I was taking shots while I was waiting for my cousin to get ready. <laughs> so, I was, the- yeah, so, that was fun, uh, let's see, I'm gonna wear, because we're probably, for our next special, we'll dress up. Cool. And so, I'll probably wear the what I wore to the club, um, because it was Ready Party 1, or something. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So, it was, like, kind of, like, a play on Ready Player 1. So, it was like, come dressed in, like, cosplay or whatever. Dress however you like, because it's the Oasis, you can be whatever you want. Yeah. It's your avatar. Yeah, exactly. It even says you can you can even go as your, your basic skin for your avatar, which is just the shirt and jeans. <laughs> uh, so, that was fun, and then... That's what I'm wearing right now. I'm an NPC. <laughs> That's what I'm wearing, too. <laughs> I'm wearing jeans and t-shirt, too. And then, yesterday, I ended up going to... Knoxbury Farm, because my brother had an extra ticket, so I went with him. And that was a lot of fun. Of course, like, I wasn't too, too, I was a little stuffed and kind of sore from partying and standing at Comic-Con. And then I got to knots, and then I started to really, really feel it from standing even longer outside in the lines for the rides. (laughs) And this morning, like, I was thinking about going for a run, and I'm probably not, because (laughs) my ankle, like, really hurts i don't know why it almost day. i mean you're out walking around and doing stuff yeah i don't know why my ankle it almost feels like kind of like how you might want to like kind of push your ankle back not like this way but like this way to where it pops and then it'll feel fine but it won't pop it just hurts so oh. Oh. i don't know what's going on with it so it feels it almost feels like it. it needs to be popped but decompress it, it won't oh gonna have to amputate I amputate my foot oh no <laughs> And that's basically all I did today. I've been um kind of kind of more of a lazy day. I've been putting together the last podcast stuff together because I haven't had time to do it this weekend. So um hopefully that will be uploaded soon. Feel bad. Sorry guys, that's gonna be pretty late uploading, but it'll be done. You guys will enjoy it. <laughs> Better late than never. And I think that's it for me. Oh, movie wise, TV shows. I don't think I've seen anything. Have I talked about Monona Earp yet? I think I have. You have talked to me about it, but I don't remember if it was on recording or not. <laughs> I think it was on the recording. I think I, have, I think that was the last thing I talked about. Well, if not, then we'll talk about it next episode. <laughs> <laughs> I finished the season of that. It's good. So, cool. there. That's all really cool. I have to say about it, I guess. I have watched not much else. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, mine was... I feel like I haven't because... No, I have. I have. Because I finished this, I started the season basically last, like, Tuesday or something like that. Because we did a later recording. That's why I haven't finished the, I haven't finished editing this stuff yet. Because we did a later recording. We did, we started the recording Wednesday. And I probably started the show about that time. So that's when I did it. And I finished the season on Friday. So, um, I finished the three seasons on Friday. So, yeah, I've already talked about it. Momentary panic. My computer just fell asleep. Apparently it falls asleep in 17 minutes. (laughs) Oh, no. Yeah, I haven't seen anything else since then. Oh, I've been, I was watching, I had Teen Titans Go on earlier today while I was doing stuff. Did you? Teen Titans Go, it's funny, they had a, a TV, um, an episode about collections. Ah, they listened to the podcast too. They listened to the podcast. <laughs> Thanks, what's up, creators? <laughs> but yeah. Wow. In my head, I was actually thinking of like Robin and them, like listening to it. Because I'm, um, you know, apparently a child. It makes more sense that <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the writers the literally writers. could be listening. Yeah, it's funny. 
Yeah, and then they also had an episode about they brought back the booty scoot again. I love, I love. They had like a whole bunch of episodes. You know what the booty Wait, scoot is, right? We're still right? talking about Teen Titans, right? Yeah. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've sent you the video of the booty scoot. Yeah, scoot that booty, that booty, scoot, 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 scoot that booty, booty. <laughs> <laughs> if he did, I blocked it out. <laughs> So they brought it. They brought it like twice back, but then they had a whole episode. Basically, nothing about the the whole beginning of it was about the booty scoot. And at first, I thought it was just the old episode because it kind of starts off the same as the old person. And then, like, then I realized it's not the older one until I was watching it. I was like, "Oh, I love this booty scoot. It's so funny." <laughs> I'll have to send you the video for it. You'll have. You'll, I know you're gonna want to see it. You'll have to. Yeah, I'm really missing out on this. I do not have a booty, and it does not scoot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can, uh, I'll send it to you now. Please. It's just so funny. Please send help. Send help. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I wonder, since there's so many episodes of it now with the booty scoot, I wonder if they'll have a a compila- compilation. Compilation? That's the word, right? I don't know how to spell it. Oh. Oh, I'm going to watch that one later, but that's not what I'm going to do. Send you. What would be the weirdest crossover to have a booty scoot video of? What? Like, imagine... Wait, you said there's already a what of it? They had a video... Someone did a video of Booty Scoot versus The Night Begins to Shine. I don't know what that means. I don't know why I thought it was just different TV shows doing the Booty Scoot. Well, Teen Titans does tons of, like, um, crossovers as well. Like, well, not even necessarily crossovers only. I sent it to you, by the way. Oh. All right. I'll get right on that. (laughs) Not just crossover. I mean, I just watched an episode not too long ago where they did a crossover with um, with the Scooby Doo channel, but uh, with the Scooby Doo gang. I will listen to that later. Oh, uh, it's only a minute long. <laughs> We're gonna get copyright strike. You could do a review. I'll cut it out. Does this fall under fair use? <laughs> scoot that booty. That booty. That scooty, that scooty, that scooty. Okay, that's all I can take. <laughs> if I ever have to watch that again in my life, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> But you didn't get to the part where they go, scoot, scoot, scoot that booty. booty. (laughs) 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 Crumpling that foil is a representation of my, yeah. Next topic. (laughs) Send it, send that video to your girlfriend. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, she'll love it. Be like, Raquel told me to send this to you. <laughs> She'd probably love it to be honest. <laughs> then we're gonna be best friends, Jacob. She'd probably do it all the time. I'd be like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. Okay, let's see. Okay, well then let's get into our topic then, because I haven't really seen any movies or TV shows, and I guess you haven't either. Yeah, no, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cracked my fingers in this. Oh well. <laughs> okay. I got a little couple of pops in here. It'll be alright, guys. I was cracking my fingers. Don't worry. <laughs> How dare you? The audio's not going out. It's just, just cracking my knuckles. I came here to ruin your day. You're coming here to ruin my day. <laughs> okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is such Halloween is such a big thing for both me and Jacob, I believe. Yeah? That's a load of hocus pocus. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Since it's such a big deal, we decided to cut it into two parts. So we will be focusing on the first part, mm-hmm. which is going to be mainly kind of um, stuff that's more generalized to kids when celebrating Halloween. Doesn't mean we're not going to talk about adults as well. We're not Doesn't mean that adults aren't involved in these things. But when you think of it, your first kind of thought is kids. So like trick-or-treating, candy, um, Halloween at school. What else? I don't know. What else did we say? There was one other one that we said that we were going to probably do. Hold on, let me look. I sent it to you in a text. I should have wrote it down. Costumes. We'll do costumes as well. Okay, so do you want to start us off or would yeah. you like me to? Okay, don't ahead. you know if you're out of high school and you're going trick-or-treating and you're asking neighbors for candy, they're probably going to look at you weird because they're like, come on, these are for the kids. It's like, take a candy from a baby. But... That doesn't mean that you can't have, like, if you're in college, you could do, like, trick-or-treating there, or, like, the office you could go around doing trick-or-treating. But, yeah, typically you're probably gonna be frowned upon if you're out of, like, high school or whatever. (laughs) If you're paying taxes, probably shouldn't be trick-or-treating. 
that actually is a good discussion is is like high school because that is a big topic that people talk about is high schoolers in trick or treat, yeah. and some people have a lot of problems and other people don't. I personally don't see a problem with it as long as Let they're dressed the up. Like, don't come up in. It. Yeah. Oh, as long yeah. As they're don't dressed make up. like a candy grab and just like run around the pillowcase. You gotta try. Yeah, like you need to be dressed up in some way. Like, don't be like, or even have like the T-shirt that says "This is my costume" or something like that. Yeah, and I'll say, and I'll give him a piece of paper that says, "Here is your candy." <laughs> <laughs> But I totally agree because at least, you know, they're doing something like that. That's not even a big deal. It's they could be going out and doing tricks like teeping yeah. your house, egging your house, going out and drinking, you know, like. Yeah, or just walk around and be scary. <laughs> I think that. What do you think about that? Is that good or bad or like. Because we used to have a group that would do that. They would just wear like the like the the bloody face masks and stuff. And they would just. They wouldn't trick or treat. They would just walk around and just. Not, like, chase anybody, but just be kind of spooky. And kids would, like, walk around or whatever. <laughs> I think that's fun. I think that's fun as long as they're not, like, purposely terrorizing, like, little, little kids. Don't harass people. You know, like, if you're just doing it for fun. And it's and even if someone gets scared, that's not that big of a deal. Because, I mean, like, that's what a lot of people enjoy. But if it's just, like, this little toddler that maybe is, like, just learning how to walk kind of thing. Like, aim for at least a little bit older kids, you know? Right. Yeah, use some common sense. What else? Trick or treating, trick or treating. Don't you know the worst part is when your parents have to go through your candy and pick out <laughs> which ones are not safe. And mine were just like, "Good luck." No, <laughs> they weren't. Oh, my mom used to have to go through. We weren't even allowed to start trading because I had my brother who's two years younger than me. We weren't even allowed to start trading our candies um, until our parents had gone through them. Oh yeah. Some parents do the thing where they're like, they pick out their favorite candies and not <laughs> only the unsafe ones. Hey, they, they spent their gas driving you around the neighborhood doing that. <laughs> or walking with you, making sure you're safe. They probably made that costume and paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to take the Snickers if they want. Yeah. Snickers are psh, not my favorite. <laughs> not my candy bar. <laughs> yeah, my mom, um, most of her favorite candies were candies that me and Nick didn't even like, so it's all right. Nice. I mean, Good she trade. did get some that like... It's a willing sacrifice... Yeah, a lot of times, though, we just be like, Mom, we don't want these candies, and she'll eat them anyway, so. Nice. So, yeah, she always got candy. I like the memes that I see on Facebook where they're like, make sure to check your children's candy, ba- candy bag, and then it's like something completely ridiculous, like, I found a whole grown man in mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I censored that one, but. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny. I see, like, car memes and stuff. I found a angry Honda Civic or something. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know that you're going to have some candy for like the rest of the year do you is that that might be a discussion instead i would always have like candy like way off into july or august next year that i would still just eat it'd always be like the bad stuff like licorice and lollipops <laughs> there's no chocolate left but i'd still eat it that's just that, you. Or is it all gone oh it's just you <laughs> oh i see because like yeah we eat basically a big chunk of it that day that oh, night you gotta ration it out nah we didn't do that <laughs> Man, I'm trying to think. There was something I was going to say, and I can't remember what I was going to say. It was something good, too. Oh, well. Don't you know that the best houses are the houses that give out the regular size candy, I not the fun size? I was literally just about to say that. I was like, the king size candy giver outers, those people are saints. <laughs> <laughs> those are the best. Okay, don't you know that if it's candy that you wouldn't even eat, don't be handing it out. Because, <laughs> you know, there's some, like, there's some candies that are, like, universal no one likes these candies. You know where my zombie Skittles are going to end up? Front porch. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> you ate them, though. Yeah. Yeah, no, you, I don't go out buying, like, well, I would go out buying Raisinets. I love Raisinets. That wasn't what I meant to say, Ew, though. No. You don't like Raisinets? Oh, this is so I don't good. like raisins. Oh, man, but they're chocolate covered. Um, Yeah, like, I don't know. I'm not I'm not going to put out stuff I don't want. But you get the value bag, so you get a little good, a little bad. Because you always get stuff you don't want. You eat it anyway. Another point to getting candy that you have to get candy that you like as well because you might not hand out all your candy and now you're stuck with candy you don't even like. You tell a bunch of kids, hey, you're going to go home without empty in my bucket. <laughs> <laughs> the last one there, you know the crew that goes around at like 11.59? They're like looking left and right. I'm taking all this. There's nobody left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but see, you're implying that you're leaving the candy bowl outside. Oh, I see what you're saying. My aunt and uncle pass it out. Of course, they don't. Yeah, they pass it out, and they don't. Um, they don't. I guess people around them don't give out candy really because we don't get that many trick or treaters there in our neighborhood. 
Now, here's the thing. When you're going trick-or-treating, what about the house lets you know that you can go trick-or-treating there? The lights are on, and usually decorations, but something there. It'd be like a chair. It'd be obvious. Okay. See, my aunt and uncle have always just put a pumpkin out front and had it lit. Ah. Uh. But they wouldn't have their front porch light on. Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, I was always told to look for the front porch light. Yeah, of course. And if you don't want people coming up, you make your house dark. <laughs> Say, like, get out of here. And so for the longest time, they wouldn't get, like, trick or treaters. And I'm like, you have to turn your front porch light on. And they're like, no, we have the jack o lantern out there. That's how we knew we were kids. And I was like, no one does it that way anymore. You have to put your front porch light on. <laughs> as soon as we did that, then people started to come. But it's also kind of hard to tell whether or not it was the front porch or what. Because also, you get more kids throughout, like, the later the night is, you know. And then, of course, it dies off. So you could it could have just been hitting a peak as well. But... Yeah, that's why I asked you. I was like, how do you, kn- like, w- if it was only a jack-o'-lantern, would you have gone? I'd look for a candy bowl, but I wouldn't look that hard. Well, see, they do, they hand out candy. They don't oh, do. Yeah. So you wouldn't go to the well, house there's then. there's people out there, yeah. If I, there's like, not look- anyone out there. No, it's just, just a jack-o'-lantern oh. to let you know to go up there and ring the doorbell for trick-or-treat. Oh, I see. No, I probably wouldn't. Yeah. I'd be like, that's oh, what I'm saying. Front porch. Not. You look for the front Unless porch Unless I saw light. other people doing it, too. Like, oh, they just came back with candy. They looked happy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know? Don't be giving out toothbrushes <laughs> or apples. Yeah. Or some people do that. I know. It's like, yeah, leave that up to like, get your own apple. Come on. Give these kids some candy. <laughs> and and the toothbrush thing, it's like, Cause they're not dude, gonna they eat got that toothbrushes apple. at home. They're just going to let it go to waste. Nah, they might. I'm just joking. I like apples. Like, I think they're really yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, but... I would eat, probably. I, well, the thing about apples is they're not individually wrapped, so they probably wouldn't eat them. Oh, yeah. Because the parents only give you out. Like, if you do, like, something special, guess what? Half the time, those that's going into the trash. Because unless yeah. it's individually wrapped, like, by, like, a company. Yeah, they're going to be like, you're, you're poisoning our kids. <laughs> yeah, if you if you like baking cookies, they're probably not going to get eaten, which is now, sad. Now, the kids but... would be sad. The kids yeah. would want to eat it, but it's... Not happening. Don't Not in today's one society. Bad apple to spoil the bunch. Exactly. <laughs> However, shout out, huge shout out to homemade candied apples, the caramel and the nuts, and oh my gosh, they're so good. I've seen where people will make them and then they split them, and it's like that's the best way to do it because they're really hard to eat. No, you just cut them yeah. up. You just make like little like oh ah my my mouth it's salivating. If you come out and visit me, Jacob. There's a place in the mall that has candy apples all year round. Nice. I think we got a place nearby here that does it too. I'm going to be getting one like tomorrow. Mmm, candy apple. Mmm. Um, let's see. Trick- let's anything see. else? Uh, trick- what time do you go trick or treating at? What time is the time? Sundown. I say sundown to like midnight. Uh, midnight's a little late, depending on like if it's a school night or something. But I would say like between. 6 and like 11.30 midnight. No later than midnight. Do you know what they do here? What do they do there? They have it where the malls do trick-or-treating. Like I've you heard go, of that. So, Some of the stores will give out candy. Yeah, I've heard so of some that. Some people bring their kids over to the mall and go trick-or-treating in the mall. They've had that since we were young, too. Uh, I've never safer. lived near a mall for that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we had that. Yeah, I you're right. Costumes. Let's do costumes. Let's move on to costumes. What sorts of costumes do you think are... Off limits for Halloween. Like, how scary is too scary? How risque is too risque? And how topical, so like, like political stuff do you think? What, where is, what's too far? I don't know why this is where I go first, but. Yeah. Starting it off. <laughs> no, it's a good one. Um, I. Let's start with scary. Okay, let's start with scary. I don't think really there's anything too, too scary, honestly. If you've got like, like a, an actual like, working model of the alien from Aliens, and you're, like, chasing kids down the street at the top speed. Well, we already talked speed. about, like, yeah. being, <laughs> being, uh, being terrorizing little kids. You got, like, the mouth thing. <laughs> I think the, the costume itself is cool, as long as you're not chasing little kids down. Yeah. So I don't think there's really anything too, too scary. I think it also depends on the environment. Like, if yeah. we're talking about, like, kids... Halloween party, then yeah, obviously there are certain things that are too, too <laughs> scary. If we're talking yeah. about you're going to a regular like adult party, or you're just walking around the neighborhood or whatever, not specifically chasing down kids walking around the neighborhood, but just kind of like maybe you're taking your kids out Halloween. I guess the scariest could be however scary your kid can handle. <laughs> yeah. If you're expecting 13-year-olds 
to be the primary people out there, maybe PG-13, <laughs> etc., etc. Yeah, I think with uh, inappropriateness, um, I think if you couldn't wear it in front of your grandma, then that probably <laughs> should not be worn. Yeah, I don't fair. know, because some people like... Some people got crazy grandmas. They're like, Grandma, you're going out in that. <laughs> I, You know, it's kind of hard because we talked about, me and my cousin were talking about it in Comic-Con, you know, a lot of girls kind of use it as an excuse to basically wear, like, nothing. Show At the, the goods. same time, some of them didn't have goods to even be doing that, but um, <laughs> at the same time, though, so many characters are sexualized so that those outfits that you're wearing like that's that character and if you like that character and you want to be true to their costume then that's that's the skin you have to show bear you could be like a winterized version of so and so but also these cons are always in summer too so oh my gosh you don't want to be wearing like a cloak i've made that mistake too many times (laughs) and so i can see that point of view i can see why certain outfits are very we you see a lot. Yeah. You know what's funny is that you talk about dressing as characters. I think that, well, it's kind of funny. I think that, like, it's Halloween, All Hallows' Eve. It's a load of hocus pocus. It's supposed to be, <laughs> like, um, you're supposed to dress as something spooky, like demons and stuff. Not demons. Not demons, but, like, ghosts and things. Demons, if you want, I guess. It's supposed to be scary stuff. It's like the idea that dressing as pop culture, it's always been a thing. I mean, people, kids dress as Superman or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I think that, like, when adults do it, like, it's like, you just, you want to, you want to go to, like, conventions and stuff. You'd probably love it. But <laughs> I don't know what my point is here. I just popped into mind. That pop culture No, I see your point. Yeah, like, you would think, because we celebrate, like, the, basically the whole October and Halloween and all that stuff. We decorate the house. It's all scary stuff. But then when it comes down to actually dressing up, it's, like, a whole variety of different things and not just scary stuff. So, um, now with politics-wise... I have searched dressing as pop culture for Halloween house started. <laughs> people also ask, why do people wear a Halloween costume? Why do Americans it be like dress it. up for Halloween? I think we are the only country that does that. That's because no? we have freedom. <laughs> freedom. <laughs> and we've lost all our foreign listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do kidding, that, Jacob. Guys. We have a I'm lot of foreign kidding. languages. No, I'm just listeners. Using- this would be a good time to insert our disclaimer that we have poor fact checking, and so please do not take everything <laughs> that we say as fact. I'm Most literally of it fact is our checking. Opinion. People dressed as ghouls during Halloween in Budapest. An early 20th century Irish Halloween mask, a rhymer, or a visor displayed at the Museum of Country Life. I'm on Wikipedia. Wikipedia is not fact. It's about as true as we are. Bet. Change something in Wikipedia and see how long it stays up. Halloween costumes are traditionally based on frightening supernaturals or folkloric beings. However, by the 1930s, costumes were based on characters in mass media such as film, literature, and radio were popular. Uh, Halloween costumes have tended to be worn mainly by young people, but since the mid-20th century, they have been increasingly worn by adults also. Hmm. In the 30s, for whatever reason, uh, citation needed. (laughs) I'm going to dress up as Wikipedia this year, (laughs) and then I'm going to change my costume. (laughs) When it dresses a ditto, then just, that would be crazy. Just like, oh, that you would have to, imagine the planning. You're at a house party, and you've prepared for everything. You're hosting the party. And you're the host. And whenever somebody comes into your, your house, you just, like, sneak off and change your costume, like, 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, wait, why are you Spider-Man? You were, like, Superman a second ago. It's like, no, I wasn't. And just keep switching. Bonus <laughs> points if they all have masks, and everyone's just, I want to try this, except now I've told everybody in a podcast. Well, you'll just have to do it before this podcast comes out. I have to. Yeah, guys are having a a Halloween party. You'll have to do it this this weekend coming up. Yeah. So with politics-wise with costumes, I mean, you're free to do whatever you want. We actually were talking about it in the... um, in the car with my aunt about how people are like just so they find out that you're like a different like political party and they just like they like bring in a lot of violence and just a lot of violence with all that stuff you, if you want to do some type of political thing you know fine that's your freedom to do it i personally think politics and costumes are stupid but i mean if that's what you want to do then yeah you know, go for it but i don't know i don't think i just think <laughs> Dressing up as like anything like political wise is just it's kind of lame. Yeah, I think you can do it tastefully. Uh, I think anything it has to be tasteful, but I don't think it should be off limits. However, I do think that holidays and stuff should be like 
a distraction from the terrible norms <laughs> and politics and cultural sort of things tend to be uh we got an okay look buckle in because <laughs> like you're just dressing up as some like it would be no different if you were dressing up as like Kristen Stewart. And it's just to me, it's just kind of was whatever. Like to, I don't know. I just don't think you could dress up as any anime character. You could dress up as a video game character. You could dress up like superhero. Like there's just so much. Why would you want to dress up as just a normal person? Yeah, and why would you want to send your kid door to door asking for candy dressed as Donald Trump? I mean, depending on your area, that might work better than not. But I feel like. A lot of people are going to say, no, we're not giving you candy. <laughs> you just set yourself yeah. up for that. At least half the houses that you go to <laughs> on average. I don't know what kid would want to dress up as any, like any president. doesn't matter. Maybe George Washington or something like that. But I meant like current there. president. They might. Never know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, to me, I One just think that's kind of boring. As the Actually, now that I think ah, now that I think about it, we've done a political costume. <laughs> My family one time, it was around. I remember this now. This just flooded back. So it was like 2010, maybe, and the the Boston Tea Partiers, the Tea Party movement was kind of starting to be a thing, and it was in like um, it was in like the news, kind of just off and on as like just starting up, and it was becoming kind of a more right wing thing. But with that being in the news. My mom thought it would be funny just to do a little, like, play on it. And so she dressed up. I went as something else. I don't know what I was. But the three little kids were, like, um, they dressed up like colonials. And they had, like, uh, like signs and stuff that were, like, <laughs> give us candy or give us death and stuff like that. And, like, they were just dressed as just, like, it was very silly. I thought it was very funny. We we thought it was tasteful. But um, we uh, we did get frowned upon by a house or two. So be prepared for it. Be tongue in yeah, cheek. I can see that, but at the same time, I guess it just depends on what. Because to dress up as a colonial period, it's not that big of a deal, and it could be done where it's not political. I mean, you guys specifically went for the political thing, but but it was like a joke on the political. It wasn't like we were speaking for or against Tea Partiers. It's just the yeah. historical ones. I don't know. People just too are too sensitive about their politics, and that's stuff. exactly that's yeah, it. Is you like, never know how your joke's going to land. So that's why I just think it's you know. Just better, like I said, you have the freedom to do whatever you want, but people are just too sensitive. It's just better to do, you know, something else. And, and to me, it's just more interesting anyways. Yeah. Okay, so we've talked about your treating, candy, Make costumes. a literal Frankenstein and wear it as a costume. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster. Because as we learned in last episode, Frankenstein was the doctor. <laughs> yep, Dr. Frankenstein. What else? We think we pretty much got it, right? Trick or treating, candies. Don't you know you need to do something on Halloween? You know. What about haunted houses? Uh, I was thinking we could do haunted houses next episode. Okay, we'll do haunted houses next episode. Here's a preview. It's a spooky preview. Hehe. <laughs> you can have a thunderclap edited in. Let me see. Hold on. I do have a thing for Paul for Halloween. Let me look to see if I have anything That's that I want to talk about. That's a load of hocus about. pocus. He 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 he. Uh, uh, don't you know? Which this is like for every single subject that every holiday that deals with candy. Don't you know? You had to hit up the store the day after Halloween for candy. Oh yeah, major sales. Report again, major sales. I guess I could throw this one in here. Don't you know? You should at least watch one scary. In the one scary movie in the month of October, somewhere like you yeah. got to, you it's have to watch at least a scary yeah, movie. Spirits. It's like watching a Christmas special during Christmas, but this is a Halloween special during Halle Spookumweens. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder how many times I've done that in this podcast. Just done. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Well, I think that's it. We'll hit up Halloween. Uh, the final. What is it? I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is. Um. Look for our finale on Halloween. Uh, yeah. What's the word I'm looking for? The Next episode. Continuation. The continuation oh, of to Halloween. Be continued. To be continued. Okay, guys. So thanks for listening. <laughs> be sure to follow and share and send us tweets at don't you know pod or send us an email at don't you know pod at gmail.com really an email would be so cool <laughs> <laughs>
And don't forget to check out our video of us doing our truths and scare. Link in the description. And we hope that you'll listen to us next week. Yeah, so, thanks see you for guys. swinging in. Until All next right. time. Stay Bye. spooky. Ooh.